Hey baby story manifester, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I was going to prepare a script and that script will still be out somewhat soon. But um, <laughs> talking about personal hardships a few weeks ago, uh, some personal hardships hit for me too. Um, we had a death in the family and it's just been a heavy week and as we're nearing the end of December and as this is sort of a difficult winter for a lot of people, I thought I'm going to do a little silly video for you this week, um, just something to laugh at so we can all get a little bit of a laugh and I'm gonna summon my wife for that in a moment. Um, and then next week I'll be doing a little bit of a goals uh, year in review video and then I'll be going back to my regular ones and I'll have a new toxic trope one for you then and yeah I'm excited for that but for this week uh for this week we're going to laugh at animal names <laughs> sounds really silly but uh my wife and I noticed that in German we have a couple of names that are a little bit silly when you actually translate them into English and um, really think about them and think about them a little bit too much and we thought we're just gonna go over those and look at some funny translations of weird ways to call animals and I hope you get a lot out of it as well. Uh, yeah, let me let me go summon her. One, two, three. What? 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 All right, we're ready to get into the ha ha Halloween shit. <laughs> You're here and I'm just like, Halloween, it's Halloween! Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's this? This is our Fiverr Tree Premium Ginger Beer. That is not, not alcoholic. Name and we're not sponsored. <laughs> so similar how I did the kombucha out, uh, cozy kombucha hour a little bit ago. Um, we thought we're doing what was the snappy name you came up with? Ginger beer jam sash. Ginger beer jam sash. Let's go. For you. You don't trust me with this thing. Nope. I saw the cozy kombucha hour. Two fun animals. Two animals. Fun ones. I remember when we first started talking about these animal names. What really got us first is she remembered that meerkats. Yeah, I think meerkats are probably the best one. And we'll just stop we'll find that. out. Yes. Meerkats were called Little Earthmen. <laughs> so it's Erdmännchen. Um, let me trans like explain that real quick, especially for my German audience. Uh, I'm sorry for butchering our language. Um, and Menschen. Man means man, and if you put a chin or a ling at the end of it, uh, that's sort of like the cutesy version. So in order to translate it well, I'm putting a little in front of it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Is it little Earthman or adorable Earthman? It could be either one. It's because it's, it's Earth. Hey, adorable Earthman, <laughs> I'm by. Come at me. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Your cat. <laughs> yeah, so adorable. So apparently there's some adorable Earthmen in the audience. Meow. But I actually looked it up again, and mm. uh, there's an alternative name for them, which is... Ooh, this one's new to me. Which is Shatia, which means scratch animal. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either... Okay, wait, but no! See, what really kills me about these animal ones is they are not specific enough. <laughs> like, it'd be one thing if it was, like, little hole-digging prairie animal. But it's scratch animal. You know, like a cat. Or a dog. Tiger. Or a tiger. Or a lion. No. Or a wolf. Or anything with claws. No, we're talking about this one. <laughs> this very particular meerkat. An adorable earth man. Yeah, actually, that brings me to the second one. Okay, so most of these that I looked up are new now, but um, another one I found was a Schnabeltier that we talked about earlier. I forgot and it already. Schnabeltier is, is um, beak animal. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell them what the beak animal is? Okay, <laughs> it was little beak animal, right? Or is it just beak animal? No, it's actually just beak animal. Okay, so here's the dealie. I'm going to walk you through this. It's an animal with a beak. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, like a bird, right? 
Okay, it can't be a bird. It's not a bird. Is it a squid? Squids have beaks. You know, they do their little mop, 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 mop thing. They got squids beaks. have beaks? Oh, by the way, squids are um, actually ink animals. <laughs> Perfect for a writer channel. Squids are ink animals. Yes. And I now have, have my YouTube uh, channel title, ink The Ink animal. animal. I feel like I should, you know, when With I eventually squid. when I eventually have some merch, I should just say like I'm an ink man. I'm an ink animal. Do you want to be my cuddle squid? Oh, oh, see, I love it. And you gotta have a picture of like a squid. You gotta have faith. But you gotta have like a picture yes. of a squid on it, holding like eight fountain pens. <laughs> Great. Um, okay, Great. so squid. Yes, squids have beaks. In the center of all the tentacle mass, they have a beak that goes. Aha! I for understand eating. Cthulhu now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Oh, we haven't so, told them what the big animal is. Yeah. It's not a bird. It's not a squid. It's a platypus. Now, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Hold up. What could possibly <laughs> be distinguishing? A, like, picture the pitch meeting for this. Just, <laughs> we got a platypus here. What's the distinguishing feature? The beak? <laughs> the beaver tail? <laughs> The poison claws that can kill a man in two minutes? What? But they're so cute. Yeah. On their back. Okay. Why is everything that's cute poisonous? Because Australia. <laughs> they're natives of Australia. Oh, th that makes sense. They have a thumb on their back foot that has venom so poisonous it could kill a man in two minutes. Thumbs up. Ah! Jesus! I'm the animal in this. The ink animal. I'm the big... I don't know. Okay, so... Alright, so what else you got for me? So, that's the platypus, big animal. Okay, well... Alright. This one murdered you earlier, so let's go over that one real quick. Um, oh god, please. What was the, the kangaroos and stuff again? Marsupials. Marsupials. I didn't quite know what it is, so... Definition... For anyone who knows what a marsupial is, is it's Penny animals that, anyone who does not know, marsupials are animals that give live birth, but then carry their uh, newly born uh, offspring in a pouch. Creature. In a pouch. In a pouch, yes. You know, like the kangaroo pouch. Right. They put their newly born in there. It's like a second womb type of deal. Nature's fascinating. So when I looked up the translation of mer mer what's it? marsupials, marsupials, it gave me Beutel Arctic, which means kind of like a sack. <laughs> See, I find this so funny because it sounds so lazy. Like, let's look at the pitch meeting again. It's lazy, lazy. Okay, we're not there. Yet. We're in a, <laughs> a boardroom full of sloths. Okay, now you spoil it. Okay, so sloths. Sorry, wait. Sloths are called lazy animals. Foul <laughs> Because they're the lazy ones. They're really not. <laughs> They're slow, but they're in danger. They move quick. They're slow, but they're in danger, so they move quick? That's a lazy description, if I ever heard one, so... No, you know what a lazy description is to tie it back around? Looking at a marsupial and they go, what do we call this? Do we come up with a scientific name based in Latin or anything? No. It's kind of like a sack. <laughs> the entirety of a kangaroo is kind of like a sack. Yep. All right, I'm going to give you... um. New ones now. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess what a um, good tortilla with a belt animal is. Like a belt? A belt animal. Like. Well, if I was to trust crudes too, it would be a sloth. No. <laughs> the sloth, sloth was cute. <clears throat> I'm guessing a snake. No. Oh god, it's not? It's not a snake, no. Is it a cow? No. No, we have. It's obviously an armadillo. Wait! <laughs> Wait, what? An armadillo is called a belt? Where is its belt? Audience, call 1-800-ARMADILLO and vote where the belt is. Please. I have no clue. If you can, comment below and tell me where the belt is. I'm losing my mind about this. Yes, yes, please do so. Um, okay, but just let's go let's talk about a German, an English one that's kind of weird. So, um, this is a bird. In German it's called Laughing Hans, which is already strange. The Joker. In, in the Laughing Hans. 
I'm coming for you. You can't hurt Arkham Laughing Hunts. Exactly. Where's the bomb? In English, it's called Laughing Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a but Laughing Jackass. It's a laughing jackass. It's a laughing jackass. What is that's, it? That's what that's what you English people call them. So wait, what is it? It's a bird. Is this a random? It's a, it's a bird called a laughing jackass. It's it, a bird called a laughing jackass. Someone was drunk out bird watching. A drunk horticulturalist. I don't know why I thought I could drink with that. I'm just like every time I take a sip, I'm just spilling it everywhere. A drunk horticulturalist is like. Look at that laughing jacket! <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Animals. Do you want do you want to get a very obvious one now? Please. So. I'm I'm digging the guessing game. Let's keep that format. Oh, I really wish I would actually get like this would actually be a fish or something, but no. So what about the nose horn? Call the nose horn? Nose horn. What's a nose horn? An anteater? No. No! You, you actually don't know what a nose, nose horn is? Nose horn in German. Oh! It's a Norwal. No! <laughs> <laughs> rhino! It's a rhino, yes. A rhino is a nose horn. Because <laughs> it has a. Cut it! C horn. Cut, cut it! Cut it! Don't show me failing like that! I should know better. And now we'll show her failing in slow mo. <laughs> oh, it's a normal. Okay, this one's my favorite, I think. Okay. Grasshopper. Oh, I called Heuschrecken, which sort of translates to Hey Terror. <laughs> Wait, H A Y? H A Y, Hey Terror. The Hey Terror. <laughs> okay, wait, no, okay, this makes sense. Oh, yeah? Grasshoppers are basically locusts, which will devour crops and wheat and all that stuff, okay. and really mess up the harvest. So, it's called the hay terror, because it's connecting it to the locust. Ah. It's a terror to your hay, as in it might devour your crop. Dang. That makes more sense than amadillos. Or grasshopper. <laughs> well, they do hop through grass. They hop through anything. I know. Grass you can also include... call them a street hopper or a they, sand they hopper. They also hop through grass, so. Hay terror. In theaters this June. Okay. So the name Gerbil, I think, is really funny. Oh. Oh, no guessing it, by the way? No, no. The name Gerbil, I think, is really funny. It's a fun name. What do you call it in German? Oh. Oh, we're reversing the game now. Let me just say it in German. It's a rennende Wüstenmaus. Okay, so it's something mouse. Oh, yeah. A rat-scaring mouse? No. A fat mouse? No. A big C compared to a mouse. Okay, it's a running desert mouse. What? <laughs> what? Gerbils are running desert mice. Okay, comments. Feel free to prove me wrong. Do gerbils run? <laughs> Do they live in a desert? <laughs> See, I thought gerbils. What's a wild gerbil? You have been a wild, wild, ger, wild, wild, wild gerbil all along. Holy shit, where did wild gerbils live? In the desert. App apparently they run through the desert. What's a wild gerbil? Somebody help! <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm gonna be dead by the end of this video. Alright. You tell me- This is Lovecraftian horror. You tell me what the mouse to throw is, as we're talking about Lovecraftian horror. Oh, frog. No. Gecko. No. <laughs> A mouth throw. throw. Mowl wolf. A mouth throw. Mowl wolf. Is it a shark? No. Oh god, what could, what could be a mouth throw? Okay. <laughs> Okay, like I can mouthy, think of... right? Yeah, yeah. But animal mouth. It's a mouth, so it's like a... Mouth almost like throw. a muzzle. That's Some a... kind of dog? No. Do you want to hear? No, wait, I've almost got this. Mm. <laughs> Is it a snake? No. 
You're forgetting the slow part. Did you hear? Yeah. It's a mole. <laughs> it's a mole. Insert robot breaking noises here. <laughs> it's a mole? Wait, what are they? Dirt. 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 With their paws, not their mouths. What? <laughs> Wait, how are they throwing with their mouth? The little earth man is gonna be upset about all the mouth throwers. Oh my god, mouth throw. Mouth, mouth throw. Yes. How? And while we're talking Lovecraftian, now this is already a ridiculous name in, um, in English. Squirrel monkey. Do you know what a squirrel monkey is? I don't. Well, you know now. Uh, I'll sh quickly show you a squirrel monkey. Oh, they're so cute! Yeah, I wonder if you think that's the German one too. Oh god. So what would we call them in German? Okay. Okay. It's gonna be like a spindle. Spindle? Like oh, spin- oh, careful with the sound. Like spindly. Mm, no. A spider. No. A... <laughs> yeah, we just called a spider. <laughs> It's very confusing. Squid arm animal. Skull monkey. <laughs> oh my god! That sounds like the name of like a 1960s B movie. Skull monkey, yeah. Totenkopf Affe. Wait, is it Affe or Affchen? Let me check that again. God, if it's little skull monkey <laughs> or adorable skull monkey. I'm going to no. die. No, it's not adorable. No, 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 yeah. Totenkopf Äffchen is another name. It's adorable skull monkey. Does it look adorable? <laughs> I mean, it does. Like, I'm not going to argue. It's a cute animal. Yeah. But, oh my god, that is a Lovecraftian horror of a name. <laughs> Mouth throw and skull monkey in the jungle next door. Okay, but what do you think about the holy pill turners? The holy pill? Pill turners? Yes. <laughs> Did I break you? It's like a broker again. The holy. Is it a pill bug? It's a bug. That's not the English name that came up when I looked at it. The pill bugs are the um, bugs that roll up in little balls. Ah, I don't think so. Okay. It's not the name that, like. Holy, holy pill turner. It's a scarab! <laughs> Why? Okay, holy I get. They are considered a sacred image in Egypt. Mm -hmm. But why a pill turner? Holy pill turner, yes. All right. So I'm gonna give you a couple of easier ones not to recover. Okay. So, um, what Well, about, I guess even one correct. What about the wind dog? Is it a bird? No. <laughs> You're so scared now. No, it, it's a dog. The wind dog. Is it? I almost said, is it a dog's hound? And, uh, no, that's a ducker. <laughs> I know. I don't understand why you guys call it dog's hound. It's a ducker. But I thought dog's hound was also the German name. No. It's in German, isn't it? In fact, dax is a badger. A badger hound. So, so you guys call it badger, badger dog. <laughs> I'm broken. I think it's because that can hunt badgers. Oh yeah, I think yeah, they do. So that's why. But we're talking about the wind dogs right now. Um, is it a border collie? Why? Because the fur in the wind. Fur in the wind. No, it's a greyhound because they're fast as the wind. I think. It's like a toddler named it. <laughs> it's like a toddler. That's rude. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think I'm going to get even a single one, but let's keep going. Um, well, well, you're going to get this one. This one's easy, and I think we talked about this one before. You said that about what's, nose horns. What's the stinky animal? Oh, it's a skunk. Yes. Yes! Stinky animal. <laughs> hmm? I succeeded in failure. I succeeded, but at what cost? <laughs> it's a, you call it the stink animal. Yeah. Like, stink unlike... Beak animal? I can't make the argument that it's not distinct enough because I knew obviously and it's so yes. apparent. 
But at the same time, it feels so rude. It is. That's just, so cute. Uh, the stink animal. But it's very distinct, just like the washing distinct? bear. Distinct? Distinct. <laughs> just like the washing bear. The washing bear. Wash bear. Is it actually a bear? I played the fifth on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a bear or not. I don't know if it counts as a bear. Red panda? No. Uh... A washing bear. Come on, sweetie. They're clean. <laughs> what does that have to do with red panda? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm calling... I'm calling your favorite animal skunk. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> ah! Careful. Washing bear. Washing bear. And we don't know if it's a bear or not. Is it a wolverine? Sort of. How is it sort <laughs> of a wolverine? I mean, I guess. Wolverine kind of looks like one. Okay, what is it? It's a raccoon. <laughs> to all you X-Men fan out there, I want to make a point that my wife just said Wolverine looks like a... Looks like a, looks like a raccoon. Because, like, sword hands. <laughs> because apparently raccoons have sword hands. PSA, the more you know. Raccoons have sword hands. And so does Wolverine. He doesn't have claws. He has sword hands. <laughs> Just like Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> Scissorhands? Mr. Scissorhands Esquire has sword hands. Anyway, washing bears are raccoons. Why? Is it because they need a washroom digging through all the trash? I think they wash themselves, yeah, I don't know. Uh, That's uh, raccoons! <laughs> lovely, adorable, filthy animals! <laughs> They're washing bears. With two thumbs! <laughs> they have two thumbs, did you know that? Really? Yeah. So they're humans? They're double humans. Oh, they have two thumbs on each head? Yeah. Raccoons have four thumbs. That's why they're Wolverine. Okay, wait, technically raccoons have eight thumbs? Because each one of the heads? All four the of them, heads? yes. They no, they have two thumbs and two thumbs. So true story, washing bears aren't really common in Germany. And uh I assume at least not where I lived. And when I first saw one, it was in San Francisco in our first apartment together, and the raccoon was like it was at night and it was light in our room and the raccoon was just kind of from the outside from the garden pressing its nose against our window and I was like oh, Washing bear! I didn't say washing bear, but you know. We need to let him inside! And she was like, no, no, but I'm like, but I want to give him a hug and maybe some food. Look, he looks like he wants a hug. The important part of the story is that at that moment I had an irrational fear of raccoons. No, really? Yes. Oh no! Well, yeah, because camping, right? Yeah, yeah, so the basic story is I was out on a uh, camping trip, a scout's camping trip, and me and my bunkmate were sleeping, and little narcoleptic Mia was laying in bed, and my bunkmate was like, stop making so much fucking noise. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm just laying in bed. And he's like, I can see you going through that, going through your bunk to get your fucking cake. And I'm like, no. And I look over, and there's a raccoon <laughs> right, next to, right next to my hip, digging through my bunk, not for my cake. They left my cake alone. For my granola bars. <laughs> they, were, they were just trying to do your laundry. <laughs> washing bears. I ended up jumping out of my bed, fully in my sleeping bag, collapsing onto the floor just outside, unable to stand up for probably a good minute because I couldn't find my way out of my sleeping bag. Oh. And I had an irrational fear of raccoons, which is gone now. Good, good. Because I let the raccoon with, and he's here now! No. And he's now our pet Cito. <laughs> I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he's a cat. He's a pearl machine. That's that's the German title for cats. And don't work for no but Wait, is it? No, it's not. Okay. I was prepared for it to be. Okay. Um, I told you this one earlier. So, what's a river horse? Obviously. It's not a seahorse. Ah! Although seahorse and river ah! horse are very closely related. Seahorse and river horse are basically the same ah! thing. <laughs> it's a hippo. It's a hippo. Yes. So Why? You, you jump on that sea, on that river horse and... They're not horses! Them. They don't have hooves! Do they not? 
No. <laughs> Don't they have like elephant hooves? <laughs> Elephants don't have hooves. Maybe? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> she just accepts it and moves on. So I love that we guy. talked about this one, the adorable oak horns earlier. Eichhörnchen, aka squirrel. <laughs> one of the first language uh, German words I learned because I found it adorable. Yeah, because I heard so many, so many um, American students that I met when I was just came here studying were like, "It's really funny when Germans say squirrel because it's hard to say." And I'm like, "But Eichhörnchen is where it's really at, so like, say Eichhörnchen, please." <laughs> Eichhörnchen. Nope. Eich. Eichhörnchen. Hörn. Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen. Aww, see, that's so much cuter than squirrel. It is. Eichhörnchen. Squirrel. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, apparently we, we had to tell a theory of why they called, like, adorable little oak. We boys. had a theory, she had a theory, <laughs> and I laughed my ass off because. <laughs> so, context. Germans make everything puns. Everything. I wouldn't be surprised if Story Manifestors was secretly a pun without her telling us. I mean, as writers, we manifest stories. A pun. Sort of, yeah. Point being, they named Einschenchen, Einschenchen, <laughs> as a pun. It's a pun. Because, okay, because Oak is called Eiche. And acorns are called Eichel, so it takes the Eich from both those words and then adds cute little horn to it. So it's like, I don't know how it's necessarily as fun, but the squirrels are, you know, getting the acorns. Horn. I don't know where the horn's coming from. Oh, yeah, because okay. acorns are the horns of the oak. Maybe? Does that's why I'm saying it's a pun. Because it's yeah. being like, ache horn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ein horn chin. It's a friggin' pun. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I think we've got most of these. Okay, go over the last ones. In my suffering. I want to I wanna talk about orcas for a second here. Mm. Now, the German title isn't much more... Ooh. Orcas used to be one of my favorite animals, so okay. I love them. And... In English, you know, there's this, like, really crappy second title called Killer Whale. In German, we've also got an alternative title. Do uh -huh. you want to take a wild guess? Um, zebrafish. I love that. I wish. <laughs> I'm start calling them, like, round zebrafish, isn't it? But they're not fishes. Ah, sea zebra. Sea zebra. <laughs> zebra. It's, a, it's, it's ocean, a zebra. It's an ocean zebra. Ocean zebra. That's the ocean horse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so what? What is Willy? Willy, no. Free Willy. Okay. Yeah. What's Free Willy? Isn't Willy? Yeah. Willy, okay. Yeah. It's, it's an orca. It was built based around Shamu. Sword whale. Awesome. Super cool. But obviously, a sword whale's a norwal. <laughs> Like, how dare you? No, but the norwal is a swordfish, not a sword whale. No, a swordfish is a swordfish. A norwal is a sword what whale. A norwal. Okay. Okay, wait. Let me Hold up while she learns is. about the coolest fish in existence. No, I know what a norwal is. And yeah, very cool. But I don't know what the title right now of the norwal is. No, that's just called a narwhal. whale. So, narwhal, like no whale. So cool. Yeah, I don't know why they're not called sword whales. Yeah, right? They probably should be called no, but orcas are the sword whales. Orcas are the sword for some reason. <laughs> Little Earth Man. <laughs> kind of like a sack. <laughs> Two Little Earth Men are uh, Little Earth Men kind of like a sack, though, no, right? Can we pause for a moment <laughs> and just appreciate the I Little Earth Men kind of like a sack as a statement? <laughs> No, I don't believe they are kind of like a okay. sack. Okay. Insert right now, like, dubstep remix of us saying all these names. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me edit that. I can't this week. So, we got two more. Okay. We got two more, and both of those are ridiculous in English and German. Exciting. So, what, we, what do you call flying fox? 
And Which is? decided to call flying dog is what? Is it a bird? Nope. Is it a bat? It's a bat. This bat. Okay, I'm picturing like an orangey bat right now. But I guess this settles the um, fox discussion that we have. Oh yeah, they're not a cat or a dog, they're a bird. They're bat. They're Batman. All foxes are Batman, but only in America. All foxes are Batman. Only in America. <laughs> I feel bad for your next no- for the one of the characters of your next novel. What? Why? Because Freddy just found out that all foxes are birds. Oh no! And Freddy's scared of birds. Poor Freddy. Plucky a novel that won't be out for two years. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ish. Yeah. Ish. See, probably. You'll get it in three. Ah! All right. Okay, and now... Hit me with this last bit. I've got the glorious... Grand finale! Grand finale. Okay, so, um, this one is ridiculous both in English and in German because the English one is a little bit translation from the German one. And it's basically just making fun of a king. Of a king? Yes. So, it's the Kaiser Schnurrbart Tamarin. I love it. Which is... So fleek. The Imperial Mustache Tamarin. And it's because apparently the monkey had a mustache. Has a mustache like Kaiser Wilhelm, I think. I and need to see this. People, I know, I know. The Imperial <laughs> Mustache Kaiserin. Tamarin, not Kaiserin. Tamarin. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting in on the monarchy making fun Kaiser of it. Schno... Yeah, it's basically just making fun ha, of Ha ha, Kaiser Wilhelm, ha you, ha. You have a mustache. It's big, like this tamarind. But also, it does kind of look like it. Okay, are you ready? Are you all ready? No. <laughs> okay, that's adorable. It looks so sad, though. I know. All the baby ones that are still growing their mustaches are really cute. Yeah. Stay off my land, cowboy. <laughs> um. Oh my god. And let me see if I can find the well, it doesn't everything. If I can find the a photo of the guy that's apparently this one. <laughs> okay, I see it. I get it. <laughs> Completely. So, grand finale, the Imperial Mustache Tamarine. Take mustache that, Kaiser Mustang. Wilhelm. Screw colonialism. I mean, yeah. <laughs> My goodness. And We've been on a journey now today. Now we got from, yeah, from Little Earthman to... Kaiser Imperial Wilhelm. Mustache, to Kaiser Wilhelm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How to go from adorable men to Kaiser Wilhelm in 20 seconds. <laughs> I, I think 20 minutes. you will be longer than that. Yeah. Um, well, that's, that's it. Please do tell us in the comments which animal name you, um, like the most, and, uh, you know... Invent a German-style name for one animal of your choice and comment below! Yes, please do that, that would be hilarious. Yes. Uh, thanks for having some laughs with us, that was really nice. And some nice cleansing laughter and humor. Being here. No, don't boot my nose a third time, I'll pop! I don't want that. So, uh, <laughs> I didn't actually do it. It was otherwise I wouldn't be here anymore. Yes, exactly. Um, so you can find nothing happens when you do it to me. <laughs> so that's it, dear story manifesto. I hope you have good holidays. Um. Happy holiday season and uh, yeah, I'll see you I'll see you next week with a new video, but I will also see you with a very special live stream. Um, please do keep your eyes out for that. I'm going to be hosting kind of a uh, end of the year journaling, kind of reflecting on things that went really well for us and setting a couple of goals, but more from a uh, mindful space. So I'll be doing a live stream of that pretty soon before the new year. So keep an eye out for that. Um, other than that, yeah, happy holidays. See you next time.
Dun, dun, dun.